Hey everyone, Trey Amick here from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm going to show how evidence is processed with Magnet Automate, which is our lab automation and orchestration tool, then seamlessly transferred into Magnet Review, which allows for collaboration between the forensics lab and investigators. Now we are going to get started in Automate, and now we're currently sitting on the dashboard, which gives us analytics of things like what nodes are available, if there are any cases in progress, along with the weekly stats from the lab as well. Before we get started today, though, I'd like to take a quick look at the workflow we'll be using. So I'll go to Configuration cases and workflows. And as you can see, we have several different workflows already built out. But for today, we're going to be looking at this process iOS review for an image. So I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. And this walks us through creating that workflow. And as you can see, we've got it set up for uh, localized uh, running on just the local nodes. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now we can define or change our workflow if need be. But as you can see here, we have it starting with an image, which this is going to be for a file system level gray key iOS image. Next, we're going to have Axiom process, which Automate relies on the processing engine from Axiom. So if you select this and scroll down, you're going to see things that look very familiar from, you know, our parsing of artifacts and being able to pull a lot of that information out, just like you would if you were using Axiom. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all those selected, close that. Next, you can see we have Axiom Exporter. Now, this is going to export this data set out to Magnet Review so that we can then load it into Review later on. So this is going to create that export for us. Lastly, we have a Magnet Review CLI, which will essentially push our completed process evidence over to Magnet Review for you to then be able to assign to your investigator for them to be able to start doing analysis on their piece of evidence. This workflow would be really great for those devices, you know, we receive from say narcotics or a street crimes unit saying, you know, give me everything. We can simply create the case and automate, have it generate a package that can then quickly be reviewed by the team that requested that information with no downtime. So let's go ahead and kick off a case with an automate. So I'm going to go down, just hit cancel. We're going to go over to cases, create new case. We'll designate a case number for this. I'll hit continue. We need to add our evidence source along with our workflow here. So I'm just going to go down to process iOS review image. Next, we need to navigate to the path of where that image is located here. So I'll grab that gray key image, select that file. Magnet Automate will then validate that evidence as we're getting it prepped and ready for processing. Now that Automate has validated that evidence, I'll go ahead and put in the evidence number. Next will be the output path of where this information will be pushed to once it's completed. And I'll simply hit add evidence source. As you can see, we have our evidence now prepped and ready to go. So I'll just simply hit create case. Now, as you can see here, we have our case being processed, that it is in progress, the total evidence uh, size as well. And essentially, as soon as this is done processing, we'll be able to hop right over to Magnet Review to do analysis for our casework. So now that our case is finished being processed, I'm within the Magnet Review dashboard. And as you can see, I have a couple cases here, but we just processed this AMIC 319 for a narcotics unit. And if I'm coming in as a narcotics officer wanting to kind of dig into the data of this device, I can simply just select this. Now we can see all the different artifact groupings that we you know, selected within Magnet Automate for processing. But let's start by just going down to, let's say, web-related here. If we can go on and look at the iOS Safari recent search terms. And very quickly, we have the search terms that are listed out here. And maybe if this is a narcotics investigation, I can simply select one of these that are of interest to me, go ahead and mark this as an evidence item. And then I can use these arrows to scroll through the rest of that list if I'd like. So this one uh, search term being cannabis, I can go ahead and mark that because that's interesting to me as well for this particular case. Now using the breadcrumbs at the top, I can go right back to the evidence source here. Next, maybe we want to run a global filter as well. So maybe we want to type in weed. And as you can see, we have 25 hits for weed. And if we expand these out, you can see where they're coming from, from which different artifacts. So I can go into Safari history. Once again, we can see, okay, we have weed maps. So I can come in, tag these, navigate through, and tag these for my report. So next, let's go ahead and navigate right back to evidence source once again. I'm going to go ahead and clear our search term for weed. Next, let's go into chat and iOS iMessage. Now quickly, you can see you can scroll through the messages. On the right-hand side, you see the type, so whether it's an iMessage or SMS, whether it was sent or received and read as well, along with the dates that are associated. So to summarize, we kicked off an automated workflow 
within Magnet Automate, which process this iOS device, then push the evidence over to Magnet Review for analysis with no downtime. As a lab administrator, I can simply add the investigator that requested the evidence to the case within review so they can identify what's important for their investigation. If you're interested to learn more about Magnet Automate or Magnet Review, please head over to our website at magnetforensics.com. See you next time. Thanks.